Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. Please check out our Facebook page, Moor DC, or our website, meordc.org, and learn about all of our programs. Well, this week's Torah portion, Truma, in the book of Exodus, Shemos, has some very, very detailed building instructions, extremely detailed. And the truth is, it continues on into the next week's portion. And then later on, we have the description of the Jewish people carrying out the building instructions that are in this week's Torah portion. What am I talking about? Instructions to build what? To build the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the portable temple, if you will, that the Jewish people traveled with in their time in the desert. And the Torah lavishes many, many verses in a strange way, almost, on this temporary construction of a tabernacle. Now, it was very beautiful. You can tell that from reading the description of God telling the Jewish people to bring silver and gold and different color wool and all sorts of beautiful materials. They left Egypt with a lot of wealth, remember, and they were going to use that for an incredible building project. Here's a book of photograph, or an artist who made a rendition of the tabernacle. That's the tent of meeting. God spoke to Moshe in that chamber. It was uh, covered with beautiful tapestries. Um, and of course, the whole building looked like, oh, that was the ark, <laughs> beautiful ark, where the Ten Commandments, the tablets were housed there, gold, beautiful. Ah, here was the whole structure. And there was a beautiful altar to, to bring animal offerings on. That's the tent of meeting in the back in which the ark is housed and a courtyard around it. Lovely. So it was an aesthetically beautiful structure, which teaches us something very important right there, that aesthetics in Judaism are very important, but they have a higher purpose because the tabernacle was just not a building for building's sake, sake, art for art's sake. It was the place where the Jewish people individually and collectively connected to God. So the, 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 the artistic was meant to elevate the whole spirit and lead to a spiritual connection to God. So very detailed instructions of a beautiful, beautiful building, tabernacle, mishkan. But the question is asked, why do we need all the details? And there's so many different answers. First of all, let's put this into perspective. This was not any old building. This was the building which housed, so to speak, the Shekhinah. The divine presence rested amidst the Jewish people connected to this structure. And having God rest among us, his spirit, his presence among us, is the purpose of all creation. So this building was the culmination and the purpose of all creation. So to have every detail lovingly and exactly listed or written in the Torah kind of makes sense. It also expresses the great love of the Jewish people who carried out to the T what Hashem wanted to remember our love and closeness in this great building project. That's worth it to have it in the Torah. There are also mystical secrets in every detail of the, the tabernacle, which our sages say was really a microcosm of all creation. And by the way, creation is very beautiful. The world's very beautiful. So why, why wouldn't you have a beautiful tabernacle? But finally, the purpose of the tabernacle was not for the divine presence to hover over it, but to be in our hearts. As the verse says, they shall make a sanctuary for me so that I may dwell among them in the heart of each and every Jewish person. And you need detailed instructions, Judaism teaches, to really have God in our hearts and in our lives. And the mitzvot are just as detailed and exact as the instructions for the tabernacle. In fact, the tabernacle is kind of a paradigm, if you will, of the mitzvot. Detailed instructions to bring God into our lives and into our hearts. Have a wonderful Shabbos.